Hacksaw Jim Duggins. <laughs> Hacksaw Jim. He was a good wrestler, I'll say. I used to like Hacksaw. Yeah. My, it's fun. My lips are burning. Today, we're going to be doing the Ryback Pepper Slam Chug. This is made by the Chili Project out of the UK. It's worth five points per chug, and we'll do a four minute afterburn. It's made up of 39.6% jalapeno jalapenos. <laughs> and then we got green seedless grapes, uh, gr green Granny Smith apples, <laughs> lime juice, apple juice, cider vinegar, white sugar, and nine million Scoville <laughs> extract. I remembered all that, see? <laughs> mm -hmm. I can tell you're in deep thought. <laughs> all the seals are on there. Let's just start. We'll start right now. We're going. What's the record for these? The record holder is Chris the Scoville unit in first place with five chugs. There we go, guys. Seal is coming off. First one. Give her a little shake. I can smell the apple. A little bit of the apple. Here's my dirty shot cup, guys. <laughs> First one. Make sure you have your timer ready. Well, it's a little thicker than what I thought it would be. Oh, yeah. Will that fill the whole thing? Just about. It'll be close. Yeah. I think we got her out there, bye. There we go. She's empty, guys. Yep, get her timer ready. How long do you have to chug it? You don't know, no time limit on the um, chug. You just chug and, and then... You have one minute in between and four minute after. Break. Yep. Okay. Bottoms up, guys. Cheers. Feed me more. Eh. We're off for four minutes. So, definitely getting a, definitely can taste the apple in there. Yeah, with the green apple cider vinegar. Yeah, getting a bit of that. Definitely taste the the cider vinegar, the apple a little bit. Not so much, much the lime juice, but. What about the jalapeno? Definitely the jalapenos. <laughs> <laughs> it's got some good heat on it. Like it's hotter than you would think, but it, it tastes good. It does taste good, but it's it's hot. Yeah, I'm surprised. It's that hot actually, right out the gate. Like I can smell the jalapeno. Yeah. Yeah. Jalapeno is a great pepper, and it's I guess it's the big guy's favorite pepper. <laughs> Did you know that? But yeah, great, pretty tasty chug. It's, I mean, I I definitely think I could. Like, I'd like to go for about 10 of them. Yeah. 10 could be a good, maybe down the road. Maybe. Try to go for Chris's Let's record. Let's try to get the three first. Yeah, I know, yeah. <laughs> it's our first it's few chugs in a while. The bull before the horns or something. Yeah, but I do like his card. His card looks pretty cool. It's wrestling card. Wrestling. Wrestling. <laughs> We're going to talk about that in a second afterburn. Oh. So don't talk about it this afterburn. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. You this afterburn. In there. <laughs> <laughs> this afterburn, it's all about the chug. And I got to say, the heat is really good. Like, my heat's probably definitely on the lips a bit. Kind of the tongue. Definitely has a nice little burn. Kind of roof of the mouth a bit, too. I'd say my heat's probably uh, maybe... One. I was going to one, say, or two. <laughs> one. One, one, one. 1. 1.5. <laughs> but I think if you were to do a couple more, I mean, the heat would build on you, right? And But it's definitely very tasty. No, it doesn't smell bad. Like, I like jalapeno poppers. Yeah. Like, it's, it yeah. It smells like. Yeah, it smells that. good. Mm -hmm. I think it tastes good. Definitely a great chug. I, I definitely would like to do a whole bunch of them, so. It is $15, guys, to buy one of these on megafire.com. I'm pretty sure oldangusstore.com has them as well if you want to check out both places. But League of Fire, I got mine at League of Fire, and that's where you can go buy, buy them. And if you want to try it and check it out. We also do have the Big Chug. So this is, yeah, like I, yeah, but yeah. 
<laughs> we got a bigger bottle of the chug. I, I should have looked at him. I was going to bring it out, and I forgot to bring it out, guys. But anyways, this is a 50 mil bottle, I believe. The other one is the size of the, like, the chugs, I think. Yeah, I think it's, yeah, I think it's uh, 120 mils, but I could be wrong. Well. I forget. But yeah, this is a, a definitely a great challenge, great chug. It's got some decent heat on there. Like, yeah, definitely. So let's get the second one going here. Yeah, you got about 40 seconds for the afterburn. Seal's coming off, guys. Oh, of course, I can't get the seal. Let's just strong manner off, right? Yeah. Like, so Ryback would do. <laughs> There's the seal. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> There's the seal. Now let's pour it out here. I'll keep that one in frame. Even if that cat flew up and hit right in the eyeball, it'd be a <laughs> nightmare in here. I think I'm starting to sweat a little bit. It's got me heating up pretty good. It's definitely, yeah, hotter than I expected. The taste is better than I expected. So you wouldn't say it's an entry level chug? You're uh, four minutes. Nope. <clears throat> Let's just chug it, guys. Yeah. Feed me more. <sighs> I just think the texture for me, I, oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm definitely tasting the jalapeno. De like, definitely a lot of the jalapeno. Getting a little bit of the apple. Get your four minutes. We're off again. And uh, my heat's still probably one, but great tasting chug with, uh, I get a little bit of the cider vinegar, but not much. Like it's not a much, not, not as much to. Can you hint grape in there or that just intensifies the apple? It, it, I am getting a little bit of the sweetness, but from the grape probably, but I think it's, I'm mostly getting the jalapeno and like it tastes good. I, I love the chug. I think it's a great tasting chug. So how about that wrestling? Wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your favorite wrestler, Olivia? Uh, well. Okay, hold on, hold on. This is what I was gonna Kern? ask. Or like. Do you even know Ryback's move? No. <laughs> <laughs> so he does the shell shock. He'll pick somebody up like this, and he puts them. He picks them right up around his shoulders, like. It, you know how much strength that would be? Like, look, it's right here. I'm showing you right here. <laughs> but he picks the guy. He picked the big show up. He picked big show up. Look, it's right here behind me on the screen. And he... Yeah. No, he goes backwards with them. Crazy, though. Well, they say wrestling is the true sport. <laughs> but you know how much power it would take to pick somebody up like that? Oh, yeah. He'd have to be strong. He's, sure. he's a... He's a yeah, he's a bull. He's it's huge. A, he's a powerful wrestler. So, I mean... A lot in the sport of wrestling and the entertainment of it. Who, well, who's your favorite wrestler then? Your favorite wrestler of all time? Um, uh, Probably... Let me know your favorite wrestler too, guys, in the comments section. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Hacksaw Jim Duggan. <laughs> Axad, he was a good wrestler, I'll say. I used to like Axad. Yeah, that's fun. My lips are burning. Who was yours? You don't know mine. Well, I have an idea. Who? Macho Man. Oh, he was probably one of the best ones, though. Well, you always sound like him once in a while. <laughs> Hulk Hogan. No. I was a Hulkamaniac when I was a kid, though. Yeah, I can imagine. Um. Look, you right here on the screen, running down the ring. Yeah. Yeah. I used to love the warrior. How's a yeah warrior? I I was I was a Hogan guy too. Yeah, I think we kind of. My dad raised us us three girls on wrestling. I another guy I used to like was Honky Tonk. Oh yeah. The Elvis guy. Yeah. I mean, I like Roddy Roddy Piper. Yeah, Roddy Roddy, yes, I right. Oh, Kobe Ware. Oh, Kobe Ware. Oh, yeah, yeah. I know it. <laughs> so fun. You, yeah. yeah. Little you know, yeah. parrot. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, he did have the parrot, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
the. I'm trying to think. You know, I I just I love the the vintage. Bret Hart. Yeah, Bret Hart, the Canadian trio there, Bret and Owen. And... Bret Owen and who's the other? It was just Bret and Owen. <laughs> I don't know. There was Davy Boy. There was the he was. Oh yeah. But that nostalgia wrestling, I, I love the 80s, Me too. 90s wrestling. <laughs> Me too. I still watch it. So there we go, guys. We're almost done this afterburn. We got and 20 got, seconds left. You got um, Jake the Snake. Yes, Jake the Snake was another great Andre wrestler. Giant. Yes, Andre was probably the best. The Undertaker. No, well, let's talk about Andre. Andre was probably the, the best giant. of all time. He was, but you're I mean, Hogan is 6'8". Better get strong, man. Andre it wasn't up. There it is. It's up now, guys. Andre holds the records for the most beers ever consumed. <laughs> yes. But a great wrestler. He was, yeah. There we go, guys. He goes off. Triple H? We forgot about Triple H. Triple H. <laughs> I know. I wasn't really a big fan, actually. I don't like it. Yeah, right. You loved him. Yeah, right. <laughs> what about the glass breaking? This guy right here. You can see him. Look. <laughs> Stone Cold Steve Austin. Oh, yeah. See, I think the wrestling era. Stone Cold. I, I, I like wrestling right up until Stone Cold and, and The Rock. Yeah. And then after that, it kind of. I think we didn't ever watch it. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, guys. We're empty. Fuck yeah, I, I gotta hurry up. Yeah. Cheers. Bottoms up. Feed me more. So show me your best. Hulk Hogan move. <laughs> Hulk, he just did the leg drop. What was his when he came in for his intro? Oh yeah, the yeah the 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 the, the year. <laughs> 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 but Ryback also has he has some crazy good moves. He also he has his own YouTube channel called Ryback TV, which we watch sometimes, right? Yeah, we've seen that. We've checked them out quite a bit. And Ryback on his YouTube channel has also done some spicy challenges. Mm, what ones, Olivia? Challenges? What ones did he do? <laughs> She's over here. I don't know. <laughs> I've seen so many different people do challenges. Yeah, he did. Uh, he did the tube of terror. He's done the pocky chip. I saw the pocky chip, but not the tube of terror. I think he's done quite a few heat challenges. He's like, and he's good. I see. I watched him do the tuba terror like four years ago, right before we were on YouTube. And I, you know, I, because I, I was watching a lot of people do spicy stuff back then. <laughs> I still do, but I mean, Ryback was one. You know, I liked watching his challenges. So does he? Is that how he got into this? I think so. Yeah, I think that it was the. I think so. Was yeah. he always a wrestler? I feel like there was something else. No, and you know what? He's actually out of wrestling right now, but he's coming back to wrestling, I think. <laughs> okay, well, you can't spread a rumor and then say, I think. No, he says it. I think he's saying he's coming back. Mm -hmm. We watched his live stream. He said. I know, but there's a lot of. And who did he say he's gonna fight? Going on. <laughs> he wants to fight one person. Eerie. And it'd be an epic match of all matches. Hogan? No. I don't know. Goldberg. Oh. <laughs> okay, listen, I tune out when you're watching TV sometimes. <laughs> I thought their God. name was something else. I thought he had enemy, but he wanted to fight. No. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, he's coming back to wrestling, which I, I think he's trying to. I don't know if it's going to be AEW or WWF. I think I'm WWF. not. WWF. Or WWE. Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know our wrestling that well. Yes, we do. Olivia don't. Olivia confuses me. Mm -mm. I stopped watching after the Stone. I still watch, but I, I, did, I fell out of the Grief. Stone Cold era. Where the UFC girl went and fought. I watched her fight Oh, yeah. Before. She was good, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But. What was her name again? <laughs> don't know. <laughs> but, guys, that's a good tasting chug. Before we close out here, and uh, I'd like to get a whole bunch more, and maybe do go for at least ten. Is your heat level still at a one? It's still at a one. I think I could smash about ten of these, no problem. And the flavor is good. 
you know, I am getting like a small touch of the, like you're, you're, it's a mo uh, for me, it's mostly jalapeno, and you're getting a little bit of the, I am tasting a little bit of, you know, the, the apple, and I think it's a good mixture of flavors going on there, with, uh, it's a very nice chug, very balanced, and I can definitely get in the heat in my throat too, uh, not my throat, but my mouth, like I can, yeah, and it's, like I said, it's, each one is 9 million extract, so... You Maybe pay ten. For it later. Yeah, ten might be tough. Like, I definitely think I could slam through a bunch of them. Though, like three right now, and I'm still like. Like, what about your stomach? Oh, uh, stomach's good to go. Hmm. Good to go, bye. So there we go, guys. Hope you guys like this video. And our random wrestling talk. <laughs> <laughs> Check it out. The Ryback Pepper Slam Chug. Pretty fun challenge. Pretty good challenge and pretty tasty. You know what it smells like? What? Remember the Bean Boozle, the heat Bean Boozle? It smells like <laughs> the jalapeno ones. Yeah, yeah, maybe. That's what I can smell, like sweet jalapeno. All right, guys. There you go. There's <laughs> Olivia's take. <laughs> That's going to do it for me. That was a great chug. And, and me. And, and Olivia. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers, everybody. Ooh, baby. Yeah, my lips are burning. My lips got a good burn, but that's probably from putting my mouth in the... smell. I can smell... It smells like jelly beans. Okay, not up close. <laughs> what do you smell, though? It smells like... Do you want to take a little sip? Salsa. No. It smells like salsa.